Hey, good morning, everybody. I uh, just want to do a progress video update on the small account challenge. Uh, looking back at the market. <clears throat> looking pretty green today. Looks like it rallied a little bit this morning. Spy is up 1.37%. QQQ is up almost 2%. Portfolios took a nice bounce after yesterday. <clears throat> just looking at managing some of these positions now looks like Apple is one of our only losers currently this one still has some time but looking to hopefully get out of this position I'm trying to get down to 25% loss because that was kind of like the goal for this challenge uh, limit my losses to 25% of the credit and try to take profit between 50 and 75% uh, so Apple, Apple needs to get down to 27 and it currently is at 33. Um, I think I have an order out there right now for, to close it at 25, but looks like it's starting to go against us here. Had a nice little push up this morning. Uh, should have probably got out earlier, but we'll look to see, try to manage that position and see what happens with that one. Then a couple other ones. We have this SPY contract expiring today. I think I have a order out to close this for two dollars. So as soon as that drops to a dollar, hopefully that'll get filled. Yep, hopefully that'll get filled. AMD. I got out of the AMD spread this morning. I think I had a five wide AMD. Yeah, here it is. I had the. 60 by 55 I ended up just purchasing back the 60 put for eight dollars so I made 57 percent I, I could have let that one run a little bit more but um, for the individual stocks I try to try to take profit when I can because they can move a little bit quicker than the indexes um, yeah a couple of the other positions have recovered I don't see any, this one's pretty close to that 75% profit target. The rest, I think we have orders out for. So 381, so our highest spread, I think on SPY is sitting at 373. So we do have a little bit of a runway there. So I'm not too worried about that guy. And then I think the next ones we have are like next Friday. Yeah, 370 and then 362. So a little bit of a runway for next week too. Um, but yeah, guys, that's an update for the video for the small account challenge this morning. Just wanted to quickly sh uh, shoot that and let you guys know how that's going. Um, and as I mentioned before, I'm just going to be doing small updates uh, as we go along, keeping track of all the trades in this spreadsheet here. Um, do keep in mind, you know, this isn't uh, isn't financial advice, so you know, do with this information uh, for educational purposes only. Don't blindly follow my trades. Make sure you understand your risk uh, and your reward and um, just all the implications with options trading. I'm not a professional, so uh, this is for educational purposes only. Um, feel free to leave some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. think. Um, like I mentioned, we're sitting at right at 4,600. Obviously, I think the first goal would be to hit 5,000. And then 6,000, and then 10,000, and just kind of keep setting different milestones uh, that way until until we reach our goal, and then we we close the challenge and take some money out of the market and go go do something fun with it. So, or invest it into our long-term portfolio outside of Robinhood. Um, but yeah, that's it for the video today, guys. Um, just a small little update on the small account challenge.